Hello and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm giving you a quick side-by-side -side comparison of Zima OS and Hex OS. Now, this is not Zima OS. This is just the Zima space that has everything. But I want to go back to... Yes, that's it. So, we're not reviewing the websites you're seeing. We're focusing on what really matters, the operating systems themselves. So, let's dive in. So ZimaOS is built for users who want a modern, customizable experience. It's lightweight, flexible, and perfect if you like tweaking your system uh, to fit your style. HexOS, on the other hand, it's all about stability and simplicity. It's aimed at users who want an OS that works out of the box with minimal setup. When it comes to performance, ZimaOS is optimized for speed on newer hardware. You get fast boot time, smooth animations, and efficient multitasking. XOS isn't slow by any means. It's just that it focuses more on consistency, fewer flashy features, more reliability, even on older and mid-range devices. With Zima OS, you can personalize your desktop. You can, uh, you know, system behaviors. You can customize even the under the hood settings without much hassle. In HexOS, though, it keeps things more locked down. You still get control over the basic things, but you uh, the focus is more on giving you a polished, ready-to-use experience with fewer decisions to make. Now, in terms of updates, Zima OS rolls out features more aggressively, which is great if you're having the latest tools. Hex OS takes a more conservative approach. Updates are slower, but tend to be rock solid, with fewer uh, bugs making it through. To wrap up, uh, if you want speed, freedom, and the latest features, Zima OS is probably your guy. If you care more about long-term stability and no drama setup, Hex OS might be the right choice. Which one fits your style? That's up to you, and let me know down in the comments. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe for more quick tech breakdowns, and see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.